What's up guys, Phil Mercy here for the second video of our Super Sunday, and this is going to be my method of killing Bloodvelds. Now, Bloodvelds when you're a lower level is one of them tasks that you think, oh fuck, I've got to wear Dragonhide, I've got to go to the Slayer Tower, um, I could go to Zamorak, but it's an absolutely horrible task when you're a lower level, or when you don't know how to kill them. Now, this method is, well, the way of getting there is of higher levels, because after the um, branches of Darkmere, you can get your hands on a Draken's Medallion. Another way of getting to the Blood Vells is by using a Blood Teleport tab that you can get from the Runecrafting Guild. Um, another way that you can actually do it, if I show you, is with the Wicked Hood. Now, wait, I'll just get it out quickly. Now, to get here with the Wicked Hood, what you want to do is you want to activate it, click Teleport, and then click on the Blood Rune. Now, this can only be done once you've got an Omni Talisman in there, but then you can click on the Blood Rune, that will teleport you to the Blood Altar. So let's go straight away and head towards there. I'm actually going to be using the Draken's Medallion um, to get to the Blood Vells. Now, what you're going to want when you get to Blood when you're um, going to Blood Vells is you want to have good offensive gear with a chaotic longsword or a maul, something that has really good um, attack bonuses. Because the cannon that you're going to be using, the cannon's hit and the accuracy depends on um, the cannon's bonuses well on your weapons bonuses that's that that determines how accurate your cannon will be hitting and your cannon will be doing pretty much 80 percent of all the damage you're going to be doing so you really want your cannon to be at the best that it can um, i'm also bringing steel titan because a combat familiar does work here because it's multi-combat and so that will ultimately increase your kills per hour now you want to set, set your left click option to attack on your titan or you can in fact select your left click option to follower details now I usually set it to follower details because when you click on follower details when you after you've summoned it and you click on follower details you have the attack and the special option here so it works out quite well now you want to set your quick prayers to piety or protect from melee or deflect from melee and turmoil because there will be loads of them and you want to um, not get hit because it's very horrible so what you want to do if you're using the dragon's medallion you want to teleport straight to um, Maya ditch Fuck, I've forgotten! No, wrong one. Myditch Laboratories. I knew it was one of them. Yeah, you want to teleport to Myditch Laboratories with the Draken's Medallion and then run south. Now you get to this little wall, almost the door, and then you want to go straight, th climb through the door. And as, like so. Now you want to follow the path all the way around. They're quite quick to get to and they're very good XP. They, these are possibly the best XP in the game. The best XP per hour in the game is actually cannoning Dagonoffs. However, this task lasts a lot longer, so you get a lot better XP out of it. This, frankly, is my favourite task in the game because the effigies are insane. They're a high combat level and they give great Slayer XP. So, what you want to do is you want to run north until you come to this kind of intersection here. Now, what we're going to be using is a spot where this person is, here which is going to be setting up the cannon in this room, protecting from melee, and then things. So I will resume recording um, once I find a world. And we are here. Now, as you can see, there is no one here at this point in time, and it's currently on. I would suggest finding a high spawn world, because you will be killing them very fast. And what you want to do is just set your auto retaliate on to on. Um, and that way you don't have to keep track as much, although you do have to bear in mind about the cannon. Now you want, what you want to do is, is set it up. As you can see there is this sort of grey shaded almost circle. Just set it up in this corner here, just as in the central room, and set up your cannon. Now you want to start firing your cannon and summoning your combat familiar. Now what you want to do is you right click on your cannon and click walk here, and you'll then stand under your cannon. Now that means that you can kill, all the blood vells will be moving around your cannon, so your cannon will be getting um, as much damage as it can as possible. And also you can left click without moving um, to refill your cannon. Now this is very useful because you don't want to have to keep darting around uh, for drops and stuff like that. So it's, it's a good idea to just stay under your cannon. If you get an effigy or something, just quickly run out. Now you have to be careful if you're using a cannon. Um, often drops get stuck under the feet of them which is something that you have to bear in mind uh, because you will occasionally miss drops and you don't want any of their miss drops to be something like an effigy because if it is an effigy you will kick yourself so what you want to do is after when you're doing this and you're killing them you want to just offload your specs like so 
um, so that gives um, time for your spec to regenerate. Now as you can see the kills are so fast um, and what you want to do is just keep keep your titan um, keep attacking with your titan on all the ones that uh, you're not attacking so that you're ultimately killing two at once, three at once, maybe four at once with the cannon as well and just make sure your cannon is completely topped up. Now this task can be done in probably about 40 minutes to kill about 250 odd which well, or 45 to 50 minutes, which is really good XP. I mean, the XP I'll leave about, it's probably about 60k XP an hour, Slayer-wise, so it's really, really fast, and the effigy rates are good because the combat levels are 146, 126. So it's almost like cave crawlers for, for Slayer. So I would really recommend doing them. And that's just going to be the second video of our Super Sunday, which is going to be how I decide to do my mutated blood fill tasks. So I shall see you a bit later on for the third video of today. Cheers.